Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor and thank the brave men and women in law enforcement who risk their lives every day to keep us safe. In the past week alone, seven law enforcement officials in New Mexico have been shot and wounded. It's a pattern of senseless violence that's become all too familiar in this nation. On Saturday in Albuquerque, a man armed with an assault rifle and a bulletproof vest ambushed officers, stole a police cruiser, and led them on a dangerous chase. Three Albuquerque police officers and a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy were shot. Thankfully, they are all expected to make a full recovery. But from that terrifying situation, stories of immense heroism and courage emerged. Officers sprang into action to resolve the situation quickly, prevent more harm, and help their brothers and sisters who had been shot. Firefighters from a nearby sta station ran into danger to help the injured. And New Mexicans have stepped up to donate thousands of dollars to help the officers and their families during this difficult time. To the first responders in New Mexico and all over the nation, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. I yield back. General Lady yields back.